What's up guys, it's Dead and this is episode 17 of the FIFA 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan and we are currently on 22 goals and 6 assists in 60 matches that is just for this season and that is really really good stats for, for Conrad Zan this is his third season and he has scored I think about 80 goals or 70 something yep it's 80 goals and 22 assists in 83 games so I mean this is actually crazy because to be honest i actually don't know i think ronaldo and messi have actually i think they did better than this but let's just see how many goals we can score in our third season and crazy thing is that our value is now 117 million pounds basically 118 but i mean who cares that is a lot of money and we are just 18 or 19 yeah we're just 19 and wow we are that expensive Alright, so this is the match against Locomotive Moscow. They beat us in the first fixture. And are we going to be able to get the better of them in the return fixture in our home? Now, let's just hope that we're able to do that. And, I mean, we can actually start dreaming of winning the Champions League. Even though that is a really, really long shot with this team that Dortmund has here. I mean, the team is not the best in the world. But, I mean, it's something. We have to be able to carry the team to victory. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Lokomotiv Moscow. Well, thanks, Derek. These nights are always special, and this shouldn't be any different. Everything is set up for a great game here. I'm really looking forward to this one. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Aydara. Can they stop it going in? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, so close to getting that early goal there. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a no-nonsense clearance. Attacking possibilities for Lokomotiv. And just missing the target. Whether at least nearing the break, and it's Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Good time for an assessment of their overall performance. Oh, he's through I think. a goal here, Derek. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. Wonderful tackle. Not a great pass. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here we can see it again. And it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Second short. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. All right, so this is where we end the match because we have a 10-point rating. So I really don't need to do anything else in this match. We're leaving them 3-0. Uh, and I think that should really be it by the time I end the match. 
so if i just jump to result here rather than requesting for a sub i've never actually done that before so let's see what is going to happen if we do that oh by the way it's three nil and we got sorry, sorry three one rather than three nil and we got uh, i think we got two out of the three objectives i forgot to talk about the objectives in the beginning of at the beginning of uh, the match so Okay, the other two objectives don't show just the match rating which we smashed. So I think that's actually pretty good. And it doesn't really affect anything if I jump to results once I score, once I do well enough for me to want to jump to results. So I think I'm going to be doing that and requesting sub most times just to save time and all of that so we can actually progress through this um, series a lot faster than we're supposed to. Alright, so we're going to sim this match against FC Augsburg. We're going to play the one against Frankfurt and the one against uh, Liverpool again. And then we might play the one with Hertha BSC. And that, that's where we'll end the episode. Alright, so we're simming this. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to score, but let's hope we do. And no, we do not. Okay, we actually do. We score in the 35th minute and that is really, really good. Alright, so I got the October player of the month. I'm also uh, a pace setter. Alright, it's time for the match against Frankfurt. Everybody's health is full. Everybody's stamina is full. And us and Neziri are actually on the same rating. So we are now... We're probably the best player in the team by a long shot because of the way we perform. And the only reason we have a good rating is because we actually have to use the skill points to do that rather than it going by itself. So, it's actually a really, really, really good thing to look at. I hope that we are able to um, do well quickly enough just so that I can sub out of the match or request or like jump to the results. Alright, so our match, rate, match objectives are to get a rating of 8.5, complete 10 passes in the opening half and get, a, and get 5 shots on target. I'm just going to enhance the one in the middle because, I mean... I mean, I'm not going to do it, but it's just the least important. So I really don't need the skill points like that. I'm not like crazy about the skill points. So whatever, really, I'll talk to you guys after the match is over. Roman Burki gets the nod and goal. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stuart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the... Oh! He didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great. Real chance. Oh, yes. 1 0 it is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. This is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. And it's a quality pass. Rafael Santos Boré. Surely, keeper had work to do. Youssef N. Naziri. Here is Digne. Has a go. It could be up for grabs. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Well, that save just about keeps them in this. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, good looking cross. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, incredible save. And oh, chance taken. There is opportunity for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, and winning it back. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Superb block. Oh, it might be. And throwing himself up the ball. Oh, 
Well, the short corner routine. He takes aim. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Rode. Greaves. Beautifully disguised ball. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. Now, let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Borussia oh, Dortmund. Big chance here, Derek. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And when he gets onto it's it... It's happened in one of the other venues. A goal there. Alex Scott with the news. It's another goal for Leipzig. It's now 3-1 with 53 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Strong hand on that one. All the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Zan. Just the challenge that was required. Now potential danger. Oh, it's off the post. And intercepts again. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Well, they were so close to the equal. Will he finish? Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got advantage of the opportunity. Happy to take on the shot, and he read it really well. Finds... Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Can they hit on the break? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Well, just hearing in the Gladbach game, something significant has happened. With all the details, let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Gladbach. A real opening now. Still a chance. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? And the short option preferred. Can he convert? Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here it is again. It's a well delivered ball into the box. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And inside the final minute now. Zan. It is a decent looking attack here. Gets it a go. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Late in the game, a corner to Dortmund. And they're going for the short one. Takes the shot. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. And the referee blows his whistle with that. Right, so that's the end of the match. We're able to win it 4-3. I really didn't want to go all the way to the end of this match because that just took a whole lot of time. And I think we only have time for the Liverpool match. And that's going to be tough, obviously. So we are going to stop in that match against Liverpool. And we're, I'm really happy that we got two goals and we actually saved the team. We're 3-2 three, we're three down and that was a very, very amazing comeback. Okay, we're able to get a match rating of 10. So we completely smashed that. We got one assist, two goals. 
and even though our conversion rate was shit, we still really did we did really 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 good in this match. Yep, and we got all of the manager's objectives and of course we got the man of the match as usual. There's no way I'm getting a 10.0 rating and not getting man of the match. So Alright, so next up is the match against Liverpool and if we are able to win them we're going to go as high as nine points. We're going to be to be drawn on points with them and we're actually in a really really tough spot because Monaco is ahead of us because they are first in our in alphabetical order which is which is fucked up so if I don't even want to think about it we really need to beat Liverpool we really need to beat Liverpool because if Lokomotiv Moscow beats Monaco then we're all going to be on six points and it's going to be down to one last game and it's going to be against Monaco so we actually absolutely have to win this match to have any possible chance of going to the knockout stages. Alright, so my health is low and that means I definitely cannot play the whole match. So I'm just going to play like one half. And if we aren't able to get what we want in that first half, then I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to have to leave it to the simulator. But I just hope that we can at least get a draw in this match because... A loss is not acceptable. One man, the focus of attention. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? All right, the good news is that we are the Champions League top scorer. And <laughs> we are so young. It's like Erling Haaland. I, I actually wonder where that guy is, Haaland. Because, to be honest, he just like got lost for some reason. Maybe he's a Real Madrid. Because it's definitely a big team that bought him. I actually would like to see him one more time or at least a couple other times in my career so anyway our objectives are to get a match rating of 8.5 10 passes in the opponent's half and four shots on target it's basically the same as the last one so i'm going to enhance this one over mm, i'm going to enhance the one in the middle or let's just make it okay the one in the middle yeah and this champions league group stage contest commences and introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Tito. Moving forward effectively. And Mohamed Salah now. Fabinho. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. They favoured a short one here. Salah. He must finish. Oh, denied by the post. Shot blocked, but still alive. Fabinho. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Barella. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And in, at the second time of asking, just what was required. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight Salah. to an attacker. Well read to win possession back. This attack looks highly promised, and a fantastic diving save. Well, the crowd is doing that in this manner. They have to take it away. As you can see, Dortmund have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and they've created chances. They just haven't had that end product. But you just get a sense that equaliser is coming. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. What a lovely strike! Well, as the replay shows, it all starts with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Correa. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? It's got to be. And there is the goal. He's found it. Again, and it's all about the pace and transition. The 
so quick to get out from the back, but the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Well, Liverpool restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Amadou Haidara. Well, visionary passing. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two punt stoppers? Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Sadio Mane now. That's going to be all. All right, so that was a really, really good match. I was so annoyed when Liverpool scored their first goal because they, like, the defence did partly well, and it was just really really unlucky that we weren't able to get that um that Korea was able to get the rebound and score us but after that we hammered them with a very crazy assist and two goals after that so I'm going to be um, requesting for a sub now and I really don't think that Liverpool will be able to come back through the Sims so this is the end of our journey right here and I guess this is where I should also end the episode as well so I'm just going to simulate the rest of the match and yeah, it remains 3-1. We do win. No one scored in the second half as usual. So we scored a break in the Champions League and we're the Champions League top scorer. And we're even going higher and higher. Are we going to be able to beat the Champions League record? I mean, I doubt because I really, really doubt that we're going to go all the way to the finals. Although I really hope that we are. So we got all of the managers match ratings and... Yeah, this is where I'll be ending the episode because I really wasn't expecting us to play that full match against Frankfurt. But we did and these things happen. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.